Strange one this one folks, it took me 10 minutes to find this video, then I realised I'd not recorded it. Anyway, I'm recording it now, here we go. Dame Alison Rose, you'll see her mush on the, uh, is it the thumbnail to this along with Nigel, that's Nigel Farage. Yeah, Dame Alison smiling on the old thumbnail, she looks happy, she wouldn't have been yesterday. Yeah, she's the, the woman that, uh, is she the boss of the Nat West? But obviously they oversee Coots, Nigel was the customer there. All his information was given to a BBC reporter by Dame Allison. She should have known better with a title like that. It all got reported. He lost his account. And he's been kicking up a fuss ever since. And rightly so. She shouldn't be telling people his business. Because that's what it is. His business. Anyway, she was due 9 or 10 million yesterday in a payout. After losing her job there, she got pushed. But she was due 9 or 10 million. Anyway, they've withheld about 7.2 million. She's lost 7.2 million yesterday, so for all she's smiling on the thumbnail, I bet she wasn't smiling yesterday. That said, 10 minutes later, she'll have thought, well, I'm still taking home 2 million, you know, and I've probably been on massive wages for the last God knows how many years, and I have breached uh, all the ethics with that w within the banking game, you know, by releasing details about Nigel's account. I probably have left my employee open to... Uh, a lawsuit, because rumours are that that's what Nigel's looking at doing. So, taking away two million, it's not going to hurt. It's, you know, it's it'll give me a soft landing. So anyway, she's exited stage left with a two million quid. You know, Nigel said, take your two million with you. But I'm telling you now, I've not finished yet. Anyway, the rumours are, as we mentioned the other week, he might be going in that there jungle. They say he's been offered about one and a half mil, the biggest payout to ever. Don't know if it's been confirmed yet. I've not uh, been abreast of it, but I think he's probably going to go in there. So, rumours are he's going to pocket the one and a half mil. You know, he'll spend a few weeks in there. He'll come out a lot thinner. And, and at fight, his fighting weight, because he's not going to be eating there, is he? Other than grubs and ooh, stuff like that. So, he'll come out real fighting weight and he'll be giving the, taking the fight to the Nat West. He'll be after some more candy, won't he? You can't blame him. You can't blame him. I would imagine he's got a good case. So, I would imagine one and a half mil from the old ITV or the production company, whoever that may be. And then a good few quid from Coots via Nat West. Yeah, I think he's on to a bit of an earner this year. Yeah, Dame, uh, whatever your name is again, I've forgotten it. Can you, I know you've left now, but can you let people know about my fantasies, please? Anybody, just tell anybody. I could do with a, a lawsuit in my favour. I could do with a few quid. I could, honestly. I could. Much as I don't want anybody to own my business, if there's a good few quid at the end of it with a few knots on the end, yeah, I'm game for that. I'm game for that every day of the week.